Welcome to A to Z Essential Oils Introduction. I am so excited to be able to share with you some of the amazing essential oils that doTERRA offers. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through and introduce an essential oil to you. I will tell you its name, I will give you some um, information about the way it smells, some of its history, what its properties are, what makes it such a fantastic oil, and then um, there's just a few ways that, that we've used it. So I have my notes here. Um, one of the things I would like to share first and foremost is that essential oils are very complex. Um, if you don't know exactly what an essential oil is, please go view my videos or read the articles under what is an essential oil on this website. Um, if you're not on the website, that information will be at the end of this video for you to go uh, explore and to um, just be educated, get to know a little bit more about these amazing, amazing oils. So essential oils usually have two properties. When you talk to someone who knows about essential oils, you have your physical properties, what they will actually do for the, for the physical body. And then there's the emotional properties. And what's really interesting is essential oils and spirituality tend to go hand in hand. Um, very few people would say that they're spiritual and yet have no real emotional connection. And so the spiritual and emotional connection of an essential oil, they're very much integrated. Um, most people associate their spirituality with their emotions. And so we'll go through the physical attributes of an essential oil and then I'll share with you um, what the core emotional properties of an essential oil is. There's a fantastic resource which I will show you. Emotions and essential oils. Hopefully you can read that the right way. I'm not really sure how this video is going to turn out um, But it's by Daniel McDonald and um, it's published by um, Enlighten I think Enlighten Publishing or whatever There's a group of four people and basically they've gone through and they've done some extensive research on um, not just the studies of the physical components of an essential oil, but also um, what the emotional um, results have been of people who have used it. And so they've written this beautiful um, little booklet and each um, oil has its own page and they've given kind of a name to each oil and then they've um, just, it's just really beautiful. It's a really fun um, little booklet. So I will read to you a bits and pieces out of this that really helps to capture for me what this, these essential oils are. So that's how this is gonna go. Um, so today, today's essential oil, A, is for Arbor Vitae. And I hope that's not too much of a blur for you, too much light. Arbor Vitae comes in this five milliliter bottle. Okay, it's a really small amount. The, er, the, the aroma is very woodsy. It's got a, a huge, like kind of that cypress family. This is very much like that. It's very musky, very strong. Um, there's some oils that your body needs you don't like the smell of. Put them on the bottom of your feet, put your shoes on. Um, so I've used this, but I put it on the bottom of my feet because I just can't handle it so strong. Um, but this is a very interesting oil. It's two duplicata is the name of the of the species. And so let me pull up my notes here real quick. Hopefully as I go, I'll be more streamlined. So it'll be um, easier for me to share with you. So interesting things about uh, Arbor Vitae. Okay, if you guys hear that sound, my husband is building on my house. So they're running tools. But Arbor Vitae is known as the tree of life. This tree grows natively and it flourishes in the North American continent, um, primarily in Canada. And um, it's huge. It's a huge tree. And apparently it has abundant and very unique benefits. The Native American culture there, um, to them, the Arbor Vitae tree is called the tree of life. Um, and it's very sacred. They used it not only in their spiritual ceremonies, but they also used it medicinally. So for them, it really was the tree of life. They used it for all sorts of things. The sourcing for this particular oil is amazing. Uh, the harvesters there, they believe that all parts of the tree can be used, and so they've been using it for lots of different things. Well, they had this residual wood material 
sawdust or that sort of thing from the crafts that they they use it for I mean they use it for totem poles and um, they says build vessels totem poles baskets clothing like this tree was everything to those people the, the native people there and they wanted to honor that tradition and that heritage and so they were looking for a way to use the residual materials and they contacted doTERRA. They approached us and they said, we really like what you're doing with your oils. We love how you're sourcing. Would you come take a look at this and see if there's you know, some way that you can um, distill an oil from the wood materials? And so doTERRA was very honored to be able to be a part of that. And so that's what, how this oil came to be a part of our collection. Um, the properties, I'm gonna list off some properties here. Now, again, this is not all of them. Um, my resources are, are varied. I use the Modern Essentials, I use Essential Life, and um, then of course, right, just studies, um, scientific studies and essential oil studies and safety and that sort of thing. So I get my, my information from a lot of great resources. But the properties, um, antibacterial, antifungal, antiseptic, anti-cancer, anti-tumor, it's an astringent and an expectorant, and it's also used as an insect repellent. And when you hear, when you smell this, you'll understand why. Um, it's a stimulant for nerves, the immune system, it's a great immune system stimulator and a booster. And it stimulates the uterus and heart muscles, and um, it's also nourishing to the skin. It's great, they, they say it may, based on historic use, it may help with hair loss, rheumatism, um, it aids in sun protection because of some of the properties in it, um, psoriasis, um, and then it's got a powerful effect on, on the emotions. Um, it's a very strong scent. Again, I used cypress the other day. Cypress is one of my favorite oils, and it definitely has a, the same kind of musky smell that's in the Arborvitae, except the Arborvitae is way, way more um, intense. So the emotional properties of the Arborvitae oil is it's a woodsy oil, so it's very grounding. They call it the oil of divine grace. And I think they really went back into the, the native culture and, and what they really believed that um, this tree is able to accomplish. And then not only that, but then they went to more modern studies and, and talked to people about how um, Arvite really supported their emotions. And it says the power, the positive properties are peaceful, surrender, grounded, trusting, and relaxed. And it can address negative emotions, um, willful, excessive effort, distrusting, rigid, or fearful, controlling. Um, Daniel McDonald says, Arbor Vitae assists individuals who believe or act like all progress must be made through struggle and solitary effort. Arbor Vitae addresses the need to control one's outcomes in life. Arbor Vitae's Latin name means to sacrifice. This oil invites individuals to sacrifice their personal will and ambitions for a far more relaxing way of living. By surrendering to God, the mind relaxes and the soul experiences harmony and peace. Arbor Vitae teaches that true strength can come through the emptiness of self, or rather a willingness to receive God's strength. It asks individuals to relax, take a deep breath, and trust in the flow of life. Arbor Vitae assists the soul to live effortlessly by divine grace. Now, I haven't had that experience. I don't use this very much. I'm very much a scent person. So if it doesn't smell fantastic, I have a hard time wearing it. So I put this on the bottom of my feet. Um, but that's really, it's a beautiful um, explanation of, of how this oil can help. Um, this is great for a DIY cleaner. Remember all the antibacterial, antiviral properties? Great, and some people love the smell of this. For me, it's just too strong. Um, you can you put it on your wrists and your ankles for a repellent while outdoors. I personally would mix this with something that I enjoy. I enjoy the woodsy smell. It can just be a little much for me. Um, you can mix four drops with two drops of lemon for a natural wood preservative and polish. Um, it can prevent wood from rotting, which is really fantastic. Um, you can diffuse it if you enjoy the scent of it. It can be mixed, oh, this is fantastic. It can be mixed into the mulch of your garden to keep insects away. So that is Arbor Vitae. Um, the cautions used with caution during pregnancy, as within pregnancy, um, 
be very careful with what you put on your body, essential oils. Um, they absorb very quickly. Um, and then use very sparingly. There's a reason why it's only in a five mil, which means it's it's very difficult to come across a very, very pure form of the oil. It's very pricey. So if you don't stick your nose like right down in it, it doesn't kick you in the teeth. If you stick your nose really, really far down in, it's very, very strong. But if you kind of just let it be in the air, you definitely get that woodsy, that woodsy kind of cedar wood smell. Not the sweet cedar, but just the, the very much kind of like cypress, a very pungent scent. Um, so there you are, Arbor Vitae. It's a beautiful oil, five milliliters, and um, you should make this a part of your collection. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time.